So you say that? All right. This was your first day. Believe me, cases are not always that exciting. Tomorrow will hopefully shed some light on the whole mess. We have a body and probably a very weird murder weapon, but there are still so many open questions. Who is Anna Steele really, and why would she steal some random book pages and murder a cop? Well, these are questions for another day. She's a bitch. She said so. Day two. Let's go. Good morning. I was wondering when you would wake up. Was worried for a minute when you weren't there. It probably takes a few minutes to boot up your routines, I guess. Yeah, a couple cups of coffee. Hmm. This tastes so good. Hey, don't judge me. I like cold chicken. Fair enough. Anyway, about I already did case, judge you, though. I still think there's something off with the book we found. I want to learn more about its content, but I don't want to hear it from an Amisha. I think we should visit the temple and talk to Reverend Jacobs to learn more about the echo of Ahura Mazda. Hmm. All right, so we gotta go to the temple. Okay. I can't eat another bite. I ain't need anything. It's bullshit. How can we get to eat and I don't? What? Right. We're All right. Let's get into something less comfortable. Here we go again. Ready for business. Oh. Where's like the workout outfit with the leggings and stuff? That's what I'm talking dawn. about. Time to get back to work. I don't have to wear a suit. Fuck. Go casual. All right. Good morning, everyone. Agent Ramirez called in sick today, so he won't be with us for the next few days. He's in on Agent it. Agent Tanner, <laughs> I've received a message from the bishop's assistant. He wanted to thank you for finding the missing book so quickly and asked when he could get it back. Reading your report, you want to keep the case open. Is that correct? Yes, sir. The death of Officer McCarthy demands a whole new angle on the investigation. Wouldn't he we want to keep to it open the too? Between the alleged robbery and the homicide. <laughs> I'll have to keep the book as evidence for the time being. Very well. The assistant also mentioned some translation work. I'll just forward the message to your digipad. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's it then. Everyone get busy. Wow, what a meeting. <clears throat> I had longer experiences in in the bathroom. I mean, if there's a if there's a police officer dead on the scene, trust me, that'd be like full alert all straight across the board until something gets resolved. They would just say, hey, you still want to keep the book open? <laughs> nah, close it. We're good. All right, see you. Have a nice day. <laughs> like, that wouldn't even come up as a question. I can't believe it. He still didn't put his stuff away. What an asshole. Fuck you, Ramirez. I've already got everything I need. We can get custom-tailored armor from... Right. We can get custom tailored armor from the armor manager. All right, she doesn't think we still need it. Okay, fair enough. I like how she's pissed off at Ramirez's bag is over here. Let's ignore the fact there's two more bags lying on the ground. And why, of all triggering things, is the trash can in the middle of the floor? Like, why aren't these like pushed off to the side? <laughs> but she's worried about this. Alright. Let's go in. Oh, that's where we just came from. We don't have anything new for forensics, right? Oh, we got all of her stuff back. Okay. Oh, because she has. I don't know, whatever. Um. So I guess we're going to the temple, huh? Do it. Neon Cross. Prayer table and reverend asshole. Jacob, sorry. 
All right, let's look at the table. A table with a digital display showing a list of prayers. Often people come here and go through the list from top to bottom. Sounds like they should be praying for something, but... The Church of Neon retained the know. cross symbol, more as a brand than a symbol with any actual meaning. How's it going, Reverend? Mrs. Tanner, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Do you have a moment to discuss a book that's come up in one of our cases? I'd appreciate your insights. Ah, uh, the echo of Ahura Mazda. What you want to know about it? Can you tell me what the book is about? Because I don't feel like opening up It's a beautifully it. tragic story about a father trying to be a good parent. It's one of the last stories by Zarathustra, and one of his most famous, especially within the Amesha community. Ahura Mazda had three children. The oldest was called Asha, an intelligent young woman, very disciplined and orderly. Her younger brother, Agash, was the exact opposite, full of life and curiosity, exploring the world and pushing boundaries. The two siblings were constantly competing, and sometimes their competition got a bit out of hand. But every time, Ahura reminded them about the importance of family, and they eventually got back together. That was until the third child was born, Hastur. He was lacking emotionally and intellectually. When he didn't understand something, he wanted to break and destroy it. Still full of love, Ahura watched with growing despair as Hastur became more violent and sadistic with each passing year. He was the catalyst for Asha's and Agash's building animosity, and the conflict and fighting between the three got completely out of hand. Ahura knew that if this continued, it would end in disaster. He pleaded with his children to stop, but when he saw it was to no avail, he started singing. A lullaby as old as time itself, slowly putting all his children to sleep. And even then, they continued to fight. In the dreamlands, they could never die. Ahura knew, as long as he would sing, his children would be safe. So he never stopped, and we pray that he never will. Yeah, I could have used the crib note version of that, not the, uh, whatever you gave me. What can you tell me about the author? The book was authored by the prophet known as Zarathustra, whose real name was Hendrik Beckenheim. He adopted the name Zarathustra about two years following the inflection, inspired by his first vision. He didn't live long after this point. He took his own life about a year later, but not before writing a collection of short stories, parables, and the book you brought me here. There were many rumors and speculations surrounding his death but the Church of Flesh promoted the narrative that it was an act of love and devotion. They called him a martyr for their cause. You could say anything special about the book. It looks really nice and expensive. Oh, cool. I'm not an antiquarian, though. However, I do know one. Mr. Corso on 4th Street could help you with that. Ooh. It looks really nice Mr. and expensive. Corso. All right. I'm... Want my glass? It's got my DNA on it now. No. Nope. About this book. No. Nope. About the shotgun shell I found. Or nine millimeter. No. Nope. All right. Got a toy robot. Want to give it to one of your, one of your uh, otter boys? No. Okay. We're gonna make it a little alone time with that. <laughs> All right, Fort Street. There's a morgue. Bookstore. Highway. All right, let's visit the bookstore first. You may want to clean this place up. Computer, shells, and Mr. Corso. Even though the store looks in disarray, 
The shelves are neatly organized. They are. It's like Angel was here. And call that organized. Hands off, unless you have a warrant. Was this Robert Downey Jr.? Let's talk to him. Mr. Corso, I've come to ask for your expertise about this book, following Reverend Jacob's recommendation. What can you tell me about it? It's a nice looking, very ornate book cover. It's definitely Robert Downey Jr. A facade. The shiny exterior is designed to distract from the book's contents. A diversion. This book is extraordinary. These pages have been carefully treated to appear new. But to my trained eye, it's obvious that they are not. They're hiding something. Yes, there's a second layer beneath the mundane writing. I see your eye implant. May I install a small routine that will reveal the underlying text to you? Uh... For the sake of the game, yeah, but normally I would say fuck off, but here we go. What kind of routine are we talking about? It's really just a configuration file for your scanner that recalibrates the spectrometer to reveal the old ink beneath the obstructing layer. See? It's even certified. Alright. Let's do it. Okay. Transfer is complete. Activate your scanner to see if it works. Alright, we just we just purchased the uh the battle pass version. Where do we go? Hmm? The what? <laughs> the owner of the bookstore is not letting me out of his sight. <laughs> what is, I can what see it was? now. Oh. This is amazing, but I can't read any of it. Here, you can transfer the contents to your digipad. Some Tony Stark shit going on here. I'm afraid I'm as dumbfounded as you. I don't recognize that language. Uh. What? <laughs> Have a look. Can you make any sense of this text? I'm afraid I'm as dumbfounded as you. I don't recognize that language. Hands off, unless you have a warrant. Bitch. Where's my fucking warrant? He's saving this game, by the way. Yeah. D2. Where's my warrant, bitch? <laughs> oh. Can't just shoot people randomly in the game? That kind of sucks. Where's the fun in that? Alright, I guess we're done. Baby. <clears throat> Dissecting table, diagnostic monitor, fingerprint analyzer, and medical instruments. All right. A diverse array of medical instruments is neatly arranged and hung in a case on the wall. Okay. The analyzer will make fingerprints visible by iodine fuming. The right. screen displays a collection of information about the deceased, but I can't make much sense of it. I really don't need to have another look at McCarthy's body. I should talk to the coroner instead. That was everything, right? All right. <clears throat> Fingerprints on this? No. How about the book? No. How about the show? No. Cell phone? No. Spoke? No. Toy? No. No. Alright. Fuck it. Talk to her. Please give me a summary of the autopsy. Sure. The victim has been confirmed to be Officer Neil McCarthy. 
age 48. We are dealing with a case of spontaneous flesh sprouting here. The cause of death was multiple piercings of internal organs or the brain. Though I've seen victims of such sprouting before, they never looked this symmetrical. The pattern the tendrils followed looks very orderly, unlike the typical organic or chaotic growth you would expect. I've read about the device you found in the reports. It was situated at the center of the sprouting, is that correct? Yes, it is. I've plugged it from McCarthy's chest. She it's looks still getting like the Mythbusters. Interesting. Watch that, so I don't know. Well, the time of death was around 2.30 p.m. There are no signs of a fight, and he didn't fire his weapon. You found anything in his belongings? Yes, we did find a few notes in a hidden pocket of his jacket and his gun. The gun has already been sent to HQ, but I'll give you the notes. Thank you. Some notes. I tried to find information on the code with my digipad, but found nothing. Fucking worthless. Notes are written in some kind of code. I can't make any sense of them. All right, let's take it to the uh, forensics. I have something for you, Agent Tanner. About time. We examined the device you brought us yesterday. Yeah. The analysis isn't complete yet. Why not? I thought you'd be interested in the preliminary results. I want the full results. It's quite strange indeed. When placed on a human body, it injects nanodrones into the bloodstream. These drones move towards the brain, searching for a neural interface. Okay. If they find one, they connect to the interface's memory and download data from a designated memory range. Then, they return to the device, which checks the data for a specific checksum. If the test is positive, the device sends out a signal and deactivates. If it's negative, it sprouts tendrils and kills the host. So I For guess what that's data what are the drones killed looking? that dude lying down? We still try to find that out. At a glance, it looks completely random. I have nothing to ask her. I don't think forensics can help me with cracking the. Why not? <laughs> All right, let's go see if any of our teammates are. We're not here. Fuck them. All right. Uh, let's go here. Let's show them the notes. Nope. 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 We can't go back there again. All right. Fair enough. Let's take it to the temple. Show it to this guy. Nope. All right. Nope. Okay. No, I don't. I don't. There's nothing to do here. Um. Bookstore. Show him the notes. I assume you do know a little about codes and secret writing. What do you make of these notes? Hmm, this is gibberish. But look at the space between each sentence. The paper has a slightly different color there. I presume this is some kind of invisible ink. Can you make it visible? Let me get my magnifying glass. This looks like some kind of starch-based ink to me. You could make it visible with iodine, but I don't have the necessary equipment for that. Figure it out, Tony. Come on, start. Work the magic, baby. So we gotta get him ink. Go to the store. I don't need to buy anything right now. Shouldn't you buy invisible ink? I don't know. <laughs> or some something to detect it. I guess not. 
There's no reason to visit the Okay. Chill out. You're all excited, lady. Settle down there, Amy. I don't have any Check the height. Oh, I mean, who was that standing there? There's no reason no, to Oh, wrong building. She knew? No. <laughs> Alright, let's go check this highway out. I don't have a destination out of town. Oh, okay. Whatever. There it knows. Pointless. I don't need to buy anything right Try it in here. Just won't do anything in here. Nothing's changed. So where is the office where he talked to your boss? It's just non-selectable. Just kind of find it odd. You never interact with him for any particular reason. Doesn't need to go there. You're not done with this guy? Can we use it on the computer? Let's try. Didn't work. I assume you do know a little about code. Hmm. Can you make it visible? Let me get my magnifying glass. This looks like some kind of starch based ink to me. You could make it visible with iodine, but I don't have the necessary equipment for that. I don't have the necessary equipment for iodine. Just go buy it. Go Even buy it though the store looks in disarray. Yo, bro, you got iodine? No. A table with the church of. Um. There's no reason. I don't have any. An interactive terminal that provides information for passengers and tourists. Didn't work. Oh, well, it should. Okay, there's no reason to go there either right now. Doesn't want to buy anything. Can't do anything else with forensics. Nothing to do here. Back to the morgue, I guess. Let's show the paper. Nope. Um. I really don't need. Does the forensics girl have iodine? I don't know. I have nothing to ask her right now. Apparently not. We're doing a <laughs> lot of DNA analysis. A fine example of. I don't think forensics can help oh, me with cracking on. the code. I don't think we use the scanner. On anything in particular else. I'm afraid I'm as dumbfounded as you. I don't recognize that language. Hands off, unless you have. No, I thought I slid that open. Oh, okay. More again. I'm kind of. Not sure what to do now. That's where I live. I don't need to buy anything. There's no reason. 
that's where I live. I don't have a death. Just wants to go to the same spots, but they feel like dead ends for some reason. I mean, it's got to be something really stupid that I haven't done. Either giving somebody or scanning something or... I don't know. There's nothing to do there. I don't have anything to... An interactive... I can't go back to the crime scene at all. Sometimes these... Negative. <laughs> Negative. Eh. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, does anybody in chat know what to do next? <laughs> anybody? Anybody at all? I'm not sure what to do either. Like I said, it's gotta be something silly. It's probably like that last thing where I didn't. It showed a thing to the front desk or something, right? It's got to be something with the code, like, but I tried giving it to everybody. Hospice, I was wondering how your day was going today. I'm glad you told me you got swamped. <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking, I wonder, I'm wondering how his day's going right now. I wonder if he had any work to do. <laughs> anyway, welcome in, man. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to do at this point. It's got to be something with these notes. But... We showed him this doohickey jigger, right? Hey, he doesn't want him. Um, mortician doesn't want it, right? Nope. About dude's body, nope. You have the hidden text in the book that's in an unknown language and the coded notes. Excuse me? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I tried to find information on the code with my digipad, but found nothing. But... Neither, neither thing's leading anywhere, that's all I know. He scanned it. But yeah, he scanned this. The McCarthy notes. And... But he, he mentioned that the spacing was off. It's using some kind of visible ink. But he needs iodine. And he doesn't have that equipment. So, it's... I, I don't know if he got to show this to somebody to get iodine. Before that. I don't know. Can't use his Hands computer. Off, That's interesting. Showed on the book. That's what this book. <laughs> I don't know. Neither book's doing anything.
Okay. I just showed a digipad to everybody. No one gives a shit. I'm afraid I'm as dumbfounded as you. I don't recognize that language. Morgan. Pretty sure I showed her this. Yeah, it's not, it's not leading anywhere. Do I need to go to a walkthrough for the next part? So I honestly have no idea. I don't need to buy. An I don't want to go there. There's no reason. She don't want to go there. There's no reason. Doesn't stop going to. I don't have a destination. Doesn't want to go there. Doesn't want to go home. I mean, been to those three and talked to those idiots. We showed everything we could to the forensics team. There's no one to talk to in the police department. Oh. Nobody cares about anything anyway. Nope. Nope. There's nowhere else to go. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what am I missing? Probably like or still early day two. I would think. There's a thing at the morgue I haven't tried. Alright. Oh, the analyzer. Did I use the notes on here? It worked. There is a combination in the space between the sentences. Thought I did that already. Alright, thank you. Um So now we go back to Robert Downey Jr. now. I tried to find information. Is that it? Like, give it to her. All right, let's go back to Robert Downey Jr. I guess. I assume you do know a little about codes and secret writing. What do you make of these notes? Hmm, this is gibberish. But look at the space between each sentence. The paper has a slightly different color there. I pre can you make it visible? Let me get my magnifying glass. This looks like some kind of starch-based ink to me. You could make it visible with... Hands off, unless you have... <sighs> okay, now what? I'm afraid I'm as dumb... F Wait, what? What is this? Oh, talking to myself. Alright, let's talk to myself for a little while. This is progress here. <laughs> About your love life, I think I've changed my opinion. That's okay. Do my kinks make you uncomfortable? Okay, you know what? We'll go easy on it for the time being, and if you want out at any point, just say it. Not really. I mean, I've heard the name before and maybe had a vague idea of what he looked like. But I never worked with him together, or even talked to him before. Yes, yeah, my parents still live in Peoria. My dad is an accountant. Everyone thinks it's the most boring job in the world, but he can't get enough of it. And I also have a younger sister, Rebecca. But we don't talk much, and that's probably mostly up to me. I just don't have a close connection to her. It sometimes makes me sad. But then I think people are different, and we both live our own lives. 
Yeah, but your family should still remain in contact. It's stupid not to. <laughs> That's unhealthy. All right, let's take it back to the forensic check now. Maybe she can do something else with it. I don't think forensics can help me with cracking the code. God damn it. Did I show it? Oh, I mean, hold on. Did I show it to the chick in the morgue? I suspect she'd be able to do anything with it. The guy over here. No. All right, let me read this again. Come. Mm. Didn't work. I tried to find information on the code with my digipad, but found nothing. Worthless. All right, stuck again. <laughs> uh, that's where I live. I don't need to buy anything, right? There's no reason. I don't have a destination. Yeah, I'm stuck. I don't. It's like the game's not giving me enough info or something. I don't know. Like, I wish you could ask the character, like what her next idea is or something so she gives you a hint or something like oh we should probably go over and visit so and so like, okay oh, let's just talk to him does that do anything no talk to the dude down here no um Hello again. I assume you have storage lockers here at the station? Where can I find them? Go to the right first, and then down the escalator, and you'll find them there. Thank you. None of these lockers are in use. I tried to find information on the code with my digipad, but found nothing. I don't have a code, so... It's... Their stairs go up to the terminals. Yeah. So how do I get... I don't even know if I'm supposed to be in here right at the moment. Hello 
again. I assume you have storage lockers here at the- Go to the right first. Thank you. There's no re- I don't need to buy- The front desk. Another busy day in this- Another busy day. It's like, it's like you got a baby step through this game. I have nothing to ask. I don't think forensics can help me with cracking the code. I assume you do know a little about code. Hmm. Can you make it visit? Let me get my. This looks like. <sighs> Why do I feel like I just going at loop after loop after loop? <laughs> oh man. All right. When I use this, did it give me a code and I just didn't write or just take pre uh, did I just didn't acknowledge what it was saying to me? It didn't. I can't think of anything else we could have done then. Like, what would even let us to the I don't even recall someone telling us to go to the train station to go to lockers. Like, how do we know that's a locker combination? I don't know. It's either my mind isn't really working or I'm just missing, like, the stupidest little things. I assume you do know a little about. Hmm. Can you make it? Let me get my magnifying glass. This looks like some. Stupidly made though, if you want actually relook at the code. If you can't relook at the code, yeah. Um. Uh. The analyzer. It must have said something. It's only I could think of. And we can't do it again, which is stupid.
I tried to find information on the code with my digipad, but found nothing. Alright, I'm gonna check a... Uh, what the walkthrough? Talk to Coroner, take and read the notes. Show the book to Mr. Corso. Use the scanner. Show the notes to Corso to find the invisible ink. Yeah, that's when he tells us it's there. Use the notes with the finger analyzer to get to get a combination. Yeah. So I must have given us a combination. I didn't write it down. That's probably what it was. But now I can't look at it again. Alright. So if I was to give feedback to the developer right now. Or someone like myself who just didn't take notes. <laughs> you should be allowed to use the... Um, as we were just pointing out, you should be able to use McCarthy's notes on the analyzer again, even though you've already used it. In case you need to like look at it again, in this case to get the code, because I didn't, I fucked up and didn't write it down. It says you can examine the notes in your inventory. How? The combination on McCarthy's notes reads 8733. Okay. That's so stupid. It, it should tell you that when you do it here. Not just randomly on... right-clicking it in your inventory. Like... Alright, well... Still a cup of, I don't know, I still feel like that's like a bit of a hiccup, design-wise. The analyzer, when it spits out whatever information it's analyzing, should tell her, oh, it's 8733. You shouldn't have to go in your inventory, you have to right-click it. I mean, it's not terrible, but... It's not as obvious. Uh, why are they all the same? <laughs> hmm. Are you okay? The yellow sign gives me a headache. What yellow sign? This thing? Yellow? This digipad doesn't display color. Do yeah. you recognize the sign? I don't know. I think I've seen it somewhere before, but I don't recall. Uh, I can't recall. I have... Well, I think for about it. I don't think so, but I don't remember much, so whatever. Okay. If you're not feeling well, tell me. We can visit Kingdom Hospital any time to check the connection. I don't want my neural interface getting fried. Carthy's pad is an older model. It seems to be frozen on the weird, on that weird symbol. McCarthy's pad seems to be frozen. I can't transfer any data. Alright, so... They get a forensics, I guess. Analyze this, biatch. This thing is broken. Do you want me to fix it? Not right now, but I would be interested if you know anything about that symbol. Yeah, also, fix while it. you're at it, <laughs> please check its superposition. Okie dokie. Couldn't find anything about that symbol in our database. The superposition is not available. The broken pad probably interferes with the scanner. I had that problem before, and it can be quite tricky to find and eliminate the interference. 
Sorry, I couldn't be of more help here. I know this sounds strange, but is it possible that the pad showed a yellow color? Color? No, this model is monochrome. Maybe something reflected in it. The screen is very shiny. It didn't flash yellow when I opened it, AK. See, she just told me. She just said it's impossible, see? You're wrong. Game's right. I have nothing to ask her right now. <laughs> uh, nothing to ask myself. Alright, let's take this to... This jabroni. I'm sorry, but I don't recognize that symbol. Why is every character in this game seem worthless? I don't know. Y'all do like the most basic of things and then after that, nope, can't help you. Nope, 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 nope. Do you recognize this symbol? No. It's so asymmetrical. The Church of Neon would never use such a symbol. It's also no Amisha symbol I would recognize. I'm sorry. Okay. More? There's not a lot of people to talk to right now. Nope. Nope. seems to be frozen. I don't need to buy anything right now. There's no reason. I don't have a... That's where I live. <laughs> That's where I live. It's like, I don't know, I feel like whenever you figure something out, you immediately get stopped. Because there's, there's, I don't know, to me, there just seems like certain aspects that have like lack of information. I could be wrong, but that's just how I, how I take it. Another busy day in the city. The front desk, but I don't have any requests so far. McCarthy's pad seems to be. I, I, McCarthy's pad seems. We know. McCarthy's we know. pad seems to we be. Know. Um. We can get custom. All right. 
right now, yeah, I seriously have no idea where to go. It's just a fucking dead end. Do you recognize this symbol? No, he does not. A table with He doesn't care about it, right? I'm sorry, but I don't recognize that oh, symbol. Yeah, whatever. Should say the coroner. She doesn't care about it. No, can't get a fingerprint out on it. Analyze on it. Okay. I don't need to buy. Don't care. Hello again. I assume you have storage lockers here at the station. Where can I find them? Go to the right. Thank you. Thanks, but that's not. <laughs> what? Can I go up here now? Their stairs go up. No. Uh. There's no. All right, I'm literally out of ideas right now. That's where I live. Try talk. Try talking to the church dude. And show the digipad. I can't. She won't go in church. There's no reason to visit the church for me now. I don't need to buy anything right now. The other church? Oh, you mean the temple? Showing the digipad? Nope. He's... Do you recognize this symbol? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> eh. Wrong again. Uh, we did sh try showing the notes. Well, we don't need to technically need the notes anymore because we got the pad. So that's. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. All's got no idea. Showing the book again. I'm sorry, but I don't recognize. I assume you do know a little. Hmm. Can you make it? Let me get my. This looks like. Even though the store looks in disarray. What? I don't know. Guy time, I guess. Because I don't know what the hell to do. Try talking to the front desk of the police department. Another busy day in the front desk, but I don't have any requests so far. Negative. <laughs> Negative. I right click it. No. 
Yeah, I don't know. Look, I feel like it's dead end or something. Alright, looking at the guide again. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Day two. Uh, good morning. Open a fridge. Uh, talk to corner. We're taking the show the book to Corso. Use the scanner. Get the find visible ink. Use the notes on the finger analyzer. Get the combination. All right, we did that. Talk to Sony at the desk about Corso's parking debts. And the um. But we haven't done that, but I can't do that. Neon District Police Department. The front desk. The front desk, but I don't. What? Uh, uh, uh. uh. No, she's talking to herself. <laughs> Um, well, that's not happening. Talk to Sonny at the front desk about Mr. Corso's parking debts. Another busy day in this. The front desk. Need to go back and talk to Corso and figure out he's got parking debt issues? No. Doesn't even want to talk. Oh, that's odd. All right, bookstore. Uh, he doesn't have any dialogue. I'm afraid I'm as dumbfound. Ding says, talk to Sonny at the front desk about Corso's parking debts. Then it later says, after you open, after you get the uh, tablet. No. Be as the information desk about the locker. Before the locker, you're supposed to go to the bookstore. Push Corso about his parking fines for a translation of the book. I'm wondering if this guide's old. And that's changed. Because that doesn't seem to be happening here. Or there's... Something's not working right. I don't know. Hands off, unless you have. A I'm afraid I'm as dumbfounded as you. Then it says, anyway, after that stuff, show McCarthy's pad to the forensics officer and leave, which we did. Then it says. Tanaka will tell you to meet at a flavor palace for lunch. And that's not happening. I'm wondering if something's broke. Let me look up. Let me go check out the uh, store page. See if there's any bugs reported. Maybe I'm getting a bug somewhere. Be that or just something really dumb. Discussions.
on some bugs. Second chapter, if you use the photos after opening the safe, you can't leave the scene. see anything significant saying there's anything there's something broke what happens if you examine the digipad bishop atura translated the recording to his own accord it's just a random tirade against the church of flesh the language spoken is called avastan mccarthy's pad seems to be frozen I, McCarthy's pad seems to be frozen. I can't transfer any data. Okay. Avistan? I guess so. I haven't seen any Avistan writing in a long time. Could you translate it? I'm afraid I'm a bit rusty in old Iranian languages. I do have a translation help somewhere around here, but I don't have the time for that. See, I have a business to run here. There's literally no one here besides us two. Oh, my clientele usually doesn't come here in person. But rest assured that I'm a very busy man. Okay. So I just got to get in the habit of just... But I thought I right-clicked everything. I, I, that's... I mean, I could have sworn I'd done that. All right, so now do we go back? Now do we go here and... Hey, Sonny, I need your help again. You're really busy lately, aren't you? What can I do for you? Do you have anything on a Mr. Corso, owner of the bookstore in 4th Street? Just a second. Yes, here he is. Oh, quite a collection of unpaid parking tickets. Perfect. Tell your boss I might make a deal on those. I hope that's all right. Well, he won't be overjoyed, but if it's for the greater good, he won't mind. The greater good. The greater good. <laughs> the fuzz. Alright. I'm all ears. You've accumulated an impressive $325 in parking fines. I figure that should be enough to compensate you for your time spent translating that book. Ha, not even close. But I'll make you a counteroffer. I'll translate the first page for you and we'll forget about those tickets. Deal. Okay. First we have the author, Zoroaster. Kind of... The title of the book is Raz Aji. It's very difficult to get a precise translation, but it's something like Secrets of the Dragon or Mysteries of the Worm. The introduction includes a warning. Again, it's hard to convey the exact meaning. He said it's hard. But it's something akin to he may never return. The key and the lock must be kept separate. The key could also refer to an idea or memory in this context. Now, I presume our deal is concluded. I'll get back to my work now. Yeah, the part that's silly about the right-clicking stuff is I could have sworn I right-clicked everything already. Or I may have just not have done it in the proper, like, sequence. So maybe I had to do something before I had to right-click the, the thing in order for her to get that initial message. But I mean, I I was farting around with all this stuff. It's just a matter of like when you do it, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, like, silly things like that, like... Like, when you talk to her, she'd be like, you know what, I really think we should look at the com link or something. Like, to give you a hint like that, you're missing that part or something. Like, there should be something in here to help guide the player a little bit. I just felt like something was broke. <laughs> hey, Amy, what about lunch? There's that. Okay. What about it? <laughs> what no. about it? I mean, you come over here and eat lunch with me at the Flavor Palace. Oh, Sure, I guess I could take a break and eat something. I'll be there in ten. Good. I have a table in the center of the restaurant. Can't miss me.
Flavor Palace. There you are. I've ordered you some samosas. They are amazing. Oh, there's tacos. Thanks. Do you feel better? It was a bit rough yesterday. I'm feeling just fine. Got the day off, living my life, bored to death. True. How's Jeff? Very busy. Haven't seen him in days. All right. But he promised to make up for it on the weekend. Tab now for a second. Got some surprise. This is kind of where I'm saying, like the AI background. In this case, this particular scene doesn't work. Or, there's no reason, well, you don't see our character, but there's really no reason why our character isn't graphically sitting at the table talking, like, like she's talking to the other, to, to Tanaka right now. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Like, why not put her in the scene? Just... It's in store, I think. Or at least have, or, or, at least have the NPC's face, Tanaka, looking at, at us, like, at the camera kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, at the screen. So she's at least something. Just something missing with the scene. Just little thing. Like, I don't know. Um, any ideas how we can catch up with Anna Steele? If you ask me, she can rot in those stinking tunnels. Did the CSU find anything? They're still combing through the tunnels. It's a maze, stretching for miles. I hope to hear back from them tomorrow, or I'll just drop by spontaneously. No, you won't, because I've been trying to do spontaneous stuff all game, and you can't. <laughs> so that ain't gonna work. Uh, what about you? Is there any? Is there someone in your life? I'm still saving myself for the one and only Prince Charming. Have you maybe thought about a princess? Geesh, Amy, are you flirting with me? What would Jeff say? Oh, let me guess, he'd be all over the two of us. That's not what I meant. No, I, mean, I would be. I, like flies on I mean? shit. Ha, huh. it's so easy to make you blush. But I know your secrets, little one. Can't hide your dark side from me, can you? Tanaka's voice generation is kind of... It's not as good as, as some of the other AI voicing. The emotions in her voice aren't that good. I'll even be dare to say they suck. Screens Tanaka. They seem to show recipes. Why would anyone want to read those? Well, probably some marketing genius at work. There's our food. Hmm, that does smell amazing. So about the case, got any new leads? Yes. Actually, I've found out more about the missing book. It's way older than it ought to, and I've found out the title and author... kind of. And then there's McCarthy's digipad. It's broken. But look at the screen. Have you seen that symbol before? Actually, I think I did. There's this creep living way out in Kingsport. He had a sticker with that thing on his car. Here, I'll give you the address if he still lives there, but be careful, he has a thing for drugs and violence. All right. You're leaving already? Yeah, sorry. But I gotta find that guy you were talking about. You can't live on appetizers alone, Amy. Take care. Oh, well, I don't have a cursor to sit back down and eat, so... I could eat you, but I can't do that either, so... Alright. Um, I need to get my bike gear from the armor manager before I can go down the highway. Okay. I'm ready to ride. OK. 
Okay. Well, at least I didn't have to right click the digipad to get the address. <laughs> I feel like I should just keep driving. Leave Carcosa behind. Find a new place to live. I've got Jeff, Fly, and the others, but still, I don't feel like I belong. I tell myself these things take time, but I can feel the anxiety deep down, questioning how much longer. <laughs> Mouth. Wrong. Well, still gotta solve this case. Maybe I should take some time off after. Next exit's Kingsport. Let's see if that guy is home. Uh, there's somebody. Cyber Kid. <laughs> Wiring, skyline, control panel. That wiring has definitely not been approved by the county. So he's a hacker. Carcosa in the background looks almost menacing. The longer I stare, the smaller I feel. Uh. Looks very complex. Is this for an alarm system or for network access? That kid sure knows some things about neon tech. If you're looking for Aaron, he's not here. Why do you think that I'm looking for him? You're not the first cop paying us a visit, and I'm trying to stay out of the line of fire. Do you mind oh, if I look around and see Fire. Us? Sure do. That's private property. Aaron's property. I've come back with a warrant. Sure. Do oh, that. I, can come I won't back. go anywhere. Are you asking for my ID? No, that would for your name. Here, I hope you're happy now. 23, you look younger. I get to hear that all the time. Don't take it as a compliment, though. That's Aaron's work. Ask him if you have a problem. Okay, I will. Where's it? That supposed to be Master Chief. Oh, hello, Master. Yeah, that's supposed to be Master Chief. <laughs> Someone likes Halo. <laughs> so far, it's the only Easter egg I've seen in the game. I don't have time to go through the pockets. You don't have time to go through the pockets? Isn't that... Wouldn't that be investigating? It's kind of your job. There's a video game in the pile. I'll take it. You don't want to investigate pockets, but you want to take a. You want to steal the person's video game. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> a couple of old Polaroids. His family, maybe. He scribbled numbers below them. No way! I'm remembering this shit. Hope we don't need to. Uh, 